Welcome to Integrating Seesaw into your instructional routines. My name is Allie and I'm a professional development and training specialist here at Seesaw. Prior to being at Seesaw, I taught both fourth and fifth grade, was a reading interventionist as well as an instructional coach, and I am so excited to be here today to help you learn how to integrate Seesaw into your instructional routines. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start by thinking about the routines you use each day with your students. What are some of your daily instructional routines and how do they benefit your students? Teachers are experts at their craft and technology is a tool teachers can use to extend their content knowledge and instructional techniques to bring deeper learning to students. So today you will learn how to use Seesaw as a powerful tool you can integrate into any instructional routine to make learning visible. Here's our agenda. You're going to learn how to integrate Seesaw into whole group, independent practice centers and stations, as well as social emotional learning. And you're also going to learn how to use Seesaw's check for understanding resources throughout your day. Let's take a look first at how Seesaw can be integrated into these different instructional routines. Here's an implementation model you may have seen before. The SAMR model is a framework that categorizes four different degrees of classroom technology integration. It stands for substitution. This could be students answering questions on a Google Doc instead of paper. Then modification. Students produce a podcast to summarize a topic they've been learning about perhaps. Then comes augmentation. An example of this is providing a website link or video to supplement um, a lesson. And then redefinition, connecting with students across the world to answer questions or solve a problem is one example, or it's a task that otherwise cannot be done without technology. Now that we've reminded ourselves of the SAMR model, let's take a look at how incorporating Seesaw's multimodal tools into your instructional routines can push teachers and students into the higher levels of technology integration. So with the photo and video tools, you and your students are able to creatively, creatively capture day-to-day -day learning. The microphone or voice tools helps you and your students add additional layers of reflection. With the pens and labels, students can annotate and add explanation to their learning. And then multi-page allows you to show even more learning in the activities. Now, normally, all of these tools allow for students to learn the same content you'd normally teach, but in a much deeper way. Teachers also get a much more thorough understanding of student learning than they might with pencil and paper. So today we're going to focus on these four teacher-tested ways to integrate Seesaw into your classroom routines. Our first classroom routine is whole group practices. You can enhance your already established whole group routines by incorporating Seesaw and the multimodal tools available within Seesaw. So here are a few ideas for using Seesaw in whole group practices. Show an instructional video whole class. You can stop and think during whole, a whole class lesson. Practice sight words whole class. And don't forget to capture classroom experiences in Seesaw as well. Whole group idea number one, instructional videos. So you can use Seesaw to show instructional videos to your entire class to kick off learning. Providing instructional content in the form of a video, diagram, or even an image is a great way to engage students in learning new content. Prior to meeting as a class, the teacher can record or add a video as the first page of their Seesaw activity or use an instructional video from Seesaw Lessons. If you have an instructional video that supports your core curriculum, just add it to the first page of your activity and present it to the class to ensure all students know what to do. Since the video is the first page of the activity, students are able to refer back to it if needed while independently completing the activity. If you're using a video in Seesaw Lessons, like this Phenomenal Phonics lesson video, project the video and tap present to class and watch together. Letter P makes it pop, 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 pop. Letter P makes it pop, 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 pop. Pretty, pretty please, and a piece of pumpkin pie, and puppies at a party with a pink porcupine. Then engage in a whole class discussion. Next, assign the rest of the lesson and send students off to complete the rest of the lesson independently. Make sure to assign the instructional video to students as well if you want them to be able to reference it while working on the rest of the lesson. 
Okay, whole group idea number two, stop and think during a read aloud. Use Seesaw to support comprehension during a whole class read aloud. First, create and assign a Seesaw activity, like this character traits activity, that allows you to capture students showing that they know the reading strategy you are teaching. Then project this activity to the whole class and tap add response and choose sample student. During your read aloud, pause and use the activity to model and teach students how to identify character traits. Now, students are going to be ready to identify character traits on their own in Seesaw while independently reading. Whole group idea number three, practicing sight words whole class. The multimodal tools in Seesaw are great for making learning accessible to all students. Primary teachers often integrate sight words into their morning message to support learning in context. So instead of writing your morning message on the board, create a Seesaw activity and use the label tool to type your message. Just like we did before, assign the activity and have students gather on the rug with their devices. Project the activity with the morning message and prompt students to find the activity in their activities tab and tap add response while you tap add response as the sample student. As you call individual students to come up and circle sight words using the drawing tool, engage the remainder of the class by having them use the microphone to draw and record while circling and reading the words with you. Once students tap the green check, this activity will be saved to their journal and they can play the screen recording again for repeated sight word exposure. Okay, and whole group idea number four, capture classroom experiences. Don't forget to also document classroom experiences on Seesaw. As the teacher, use the green add button to take pictures and videos of what's going on in your classroom or on field trips to share with students and families. When families see this in their students' Seesaw portfolio, family conversations are sparked. So this class hatched baby chicks and documented what they noticed in Seesaw a few times a week. The teacher took a new photo in Seesaw and projected it on their smart board. And then as a class, students shared what they noticed while the teacher used the multimodal tools on Seesaw to label their observations. The teacher then tagged students, so an ongoing science journal was in their Seesaw journal. There are so many possibilities for using Seesaw during whole group practices. These were just a few. Okay, routine number two is independent practice. So Seesaw can also be used to provide opportunities for students to practice grade level skills on their own. Start by teaching a mini lesson, then assign a Seesaw activity and make sure to circulate to support your students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups as they work. In this example, students were working on creating patterns. Students use the camera to capture the pattern they created and use the microphone to tell more about what they created. Teachers can go back and view each student's learning once students submit work, giving them the feeling that they are in 25 places at once. While students are exploring, exploring and learning on their own, they can also use the label tool to support their understanding. In this example, the student created their own insect with clay. Then they took a picture of their creation and used the label tool to label the parts of the insect. Students could then also add a layer of reflection using the microphone. This allows students to manipulate and create while also documenting and explaining their learning. Another way to use Seesaw for independent practice is to find a Seesaw lesson that supports the skill you are working on. To do this um, and access the lessons library, tap on the library button at the top next to messages of your teacher journal or tap the green add button and then tap assign activity. This is the Seesaw lessons library. All teachers have access to a free sampling of lessons in each collection this year. Seesaw lessons are high quality standards aligned learning experiences that are ready to assign in Seesaw. In the Fun Phonemes collection, students have multiple opportunities to practice phonemic awareness by following SoundHound to practice the consonant phonemes in the English language. This collection includes instructional content to support students independently on the skills they will need to complete the lesson. Students watch Teacher Barnes and SoundHound make sounds with their mouths and can refer back to these videos whenever they need. Then students get repeated opportunities to practice the skill independently. They listen to, make, 
identify, see examples, and match the sound that they are learning about. Everything they need to independently practice the skills is included in this lesson. These are just a few ways to use Seesaw for independent practice. And now we're going to move on to centers, stations, and rotations. When you use Seesaw for center, stations, or rotations, you get a glimpse into every student's learning process, even when you aren't able to meet with them directly. Students are also held accountable, so they're more motivated to put forth their best effort. Start by giving a mini lesson to teach a concept or skill. And as you plan centers for students to rotate through, designate one or more as a Seesaw Center. Make sure your devices have access to the Seesaw app or app.seesaw.me. Students can use the green add button to capture their learning or complete a pre-assigned Seesaw activity. Activities that work great for centers prompt students to capture hands-on learning like math manipulatives work that otherwise gets lost when students finish that station. In this example, students are practicing place value. Students match the expanded form to the whole number and then capture their practice using the camera tool. Activities at centers can also prompt students to share their writing. Students use the video or take a photo and use the microphone tool to record themselves reading their writing out loud, giving families a window into the student's learning. Now to support understanding during centers, stations, rotations, teachers can also add instructional videos to activities. In math, teachers can add a video showing students how to play a math game with a partner. Students watch the video and play the game at the station and can re-watch the video as many times as needed and won't have to interrupt you with questions when they're attempting to play it on their own at the center. Now, students can also cycle through center stations rotations to record scientific observations. In this kindergarten class, Seesaw is being used as a digital science journal. Students planted seeds in different types of soils and recorded predictions in Seesaw about which ones they thought would grow. Students used the video and annotation tools to capture their predictions when they were at this center. So let's take a look at this video. I think soil will grow with flowers. I don't, I don't think so if sand is going to grow. I think rocks are going to grow. I think rocks and soil is going to grow. I think soil and sand. I don't think soil and sand is going to grow. I think rocks, sand, and, and soil will grow. Okay, and you can also assign CESA activities for students to complete during centers or stations, like this pitch, picture match activity. So here, students use the microphone to read and record the sentence, and then the drawing tool to circle the picture that matches the sentence. Now, you'll see on the right that this is a multi-page activity, so students have the opportunity to practice this skill multiple times during the center. As a reminder, Seesaw for Schools teachers have, can have up to 20 pages in a Seesaw activity, so there is a lot of opportunity for learning. Seesaw lessons can also be used during center stations and rotations time. This is the numbers and space collection, and it supports flexible thinking and confidence in math. Students build number sense by practicing, hearing, identifying, and writing numbers in multidimensional ways. Now, in center stations or rotations, students can complete one or more activities within the lesson each day. After completing the day's activity, students save the activity as a draft so they can return to the work the following day. To do that, they just tap on that draft button in the top right. So many ideas for how to use Seesaw in center stations and rotations. And now we're going to move on to our last routine. Routine four, social emotional learning. Seesaw makes it easy to integrate social emotional learning into different aspects of your day. Leverage transitions like the beginning or end of the day, before or after lunch, or between subjects to reinforce important social emotional learning skills. Simply assign a Seesaw activity for students to complete during your designated cell time or at any point during the day. An easy way to start is with a daily or weekly check-in like this. Students practice identifying and naming their emotions and explaining why they feel that way. 
Teachers use these check-ins to follow up with students who may need extra support as well. Providing students with a cell question of the day prompts conversations. Here the teacher posted the question of the day in the journal, tagged all of the, their students in the class, and then students commented on the post with their thoughts about what makes a good friend. Students can share their own thinking as well as add on to their classmates' thinking. You can also find or create activities that reinforce specific cell skills like goal setting, growth mindset, and more. This teacher found a Mind Yeti video and uploaded it to their Seesaw activity to help their students practice slow breathing. And you can also use Seesaw Lessons Cell Stories for social emotional learning. All lessons are broken into parts, making it easy for you to assign certain parts each day. First, project to the class and tap present to class on the interactive read aloud. Next, if you want the students to go through the story independently or during centers or stations time, you can assign the practice section to students. Finally, you can assign the show, the final show what you know to your students to ensure they are understanding the social emotional skills you have been practicing. Here is the interactive read aloud. And as you read through the pages, whole class and have discussions, model how to use the multimodal tools in Seesaw to respond. When students then complete this independently, they know how to use the multimodal tools to share the reflections and reflect on how the characters in the story are feeling. In the show what you know activity, students use the microphone or video tool to show what they know about feeling and noticing, other, noticing others' feelings. Adding Seesaw into all of these routines allows students to better extend, share, and reflect on their learning over time. So we have created ready to assign activities for your centers, stations, rotations, independent practice, and cell. You will now have time to explore these activities. So you're gonna pause the video and head to the handout section to find this handout where you're gonna find these activities. So go ahead and pause the video now to explore. Welcome back. So we know how tricky it can be to find the perfect activity for your students to show their learning. So this next section is going to cover resources that Seesaw has created to save you time and energy. CISA has created ready-to-go Check for Understanding activities in both English and Spanish to assist you to gain valuable insight into what your students are learning. In this collection, you will find Show What You Know, Explain Your Thinking, Reflection Routine, Exit Ticket, and Choice Board Activities, for both pre-K to second grade and third through fifth grade. You can either tap a sign right from the collection or tap into an activity to see more details. From this view, you can tap save activity to add this activity to your My Library. This is the explain your thinking activity for pre-K to second grade. If you are a third through fifth grade teacher, make sure to tap on the explain your thinking activity that matches your grade band to get started. Once it's in your My Library, you can also assign this activity to students. So to assign, tap the Assign button in the upper right-hand corner. Then assign this activity to one or more classes at once. Just tap to check the box next to the class or classes you wish to assign the Check for Understanding activity to. Assign any of the Check for Understanding activities as is. No need to edit them, hopefully saving you time. Although these activities are ready to go, you can always copy and edit them to fit your students' needs. Now that this activity is assigned, during class time, teach your lesson as you normally would. No need to change the scope and sequence. Just add time for students to complete a check for understanding activity at any point during the lesson. So this is the explain your thinking activity for pre-K to do that you could assign. Notice that this activity can be used universally across subject areas. Students can respond to this activity in reading, in math, in science, even social studies. Learning is easily captured using one or more of the multimodal learning tools in Seesaw. This first grade class was learning about summarizing a story. 
So students use the camera tool to take a picture of the cover of their book and then use the microphone tool to summarize the story, giving the teacher insight into stu the student's ability to summarize. And then the students tapped the green check to submit it to their journal. After your students complete their check for understanding, you can review students' responses and leave text or audio comments with feedback about their progress. Seesaw's ready-to-go check for understanding activities make in-the-moment formative assessment easy, no matter what the subject area. Okay, you're going to have time to explore a little bit more. So in a minute, I'll have you pause the video to explore these activities. Again, you will find this handout in the handout section. So pause the video now to explore the checks for understanding activities. And welcome back. You did it. You learned a lot today. We learned how to integrate Seesaw into classroom routines and how to use Seesaw's check for understanding activities. Really encourage you to join us for more trainings. Head to our learning hub at learn.seesaw.me to explore different pathways and courses to help you integrate and use Seesaw more in your classroom. Thank you for joining me today. We'll see you again soon here at Seesaw.